For more analysis on the fight for Ukraine, let's bring in ABC News military contributor and retired General Robert Abrams. He served as the head of U.S. Army Forces Command and was an advisor to former Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel during Russia's invasion of Crimea. General Abrams, thank you so much for joining us. At first, let's just look at that map again, showing the territory that Ukraine has managed to retake in the Northeast with more advances in the past 24 hours. Just how significant is this? Could it be a, a turning point, perhaps, in the war? Uh, good evening, Lindsay. Uh, this is a significant uh, series of events over the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, over 30 villages, thousands and thousands of Ukrainians have been liberated. And I think also significantly is the Russian army uh, that was operating in those areas. They, they've essentially been routed. Uh, they recognized that they were on the virtue, uh, the verge of being utterly destroyed. And uh, they conducted a withdrawal and contact. They lost significant numbers. And, and now they're reeling. It has to have been a huge morale booster for not only the Ukrainian army, but for the Ukrainian people. So this is a significant uh, series of events. Now, that being said, Russia is still in control of much of that southeastern border of Ukraine, giving them a land bridge from Russia to the Black Sea. How likely is Ukraine to be able to hold on to the land that they've been able to take back and to make further gains in the south? Do they have the manpower for that? So I think they, they certainly have the potential, the combat potential, to be able to retake additional ground uh, in the northeast and uh, towards the east. In the south, it's going to be much harder going for the Ukrainian army. It's been a tough go in the southeast towards Kherson, and we should expect that because I don't believe the Russians, uh, they will fight uh, and they'll put everything they have into defending and protecting their occupation of Crimea. The U.S. and its allies, we know, have continued pouring in military weapons and technology, as well as critical intelligence to the Ukraine in this fight. How has that shaped Ukraine's ability to make this push? And how long will uh, the U.S. and allies be able to sustain that help? Well, I think that the, to the second part of your question, that, that's been the question uh, from the beginning of this war that started on 24 February, six months ago. It was always going to be how long will the international community, would they continue their support of Ukraine? And to this point, it's only grown in size and grown in commitment. And, and I think that every single piece of equipment, every round of ammunition that's been donated, big or small, has enabled the Ukrainian army to the, to the point that we are today. It's equally important, the moral support from the international community to the people of Ukraine and what they're fighting for. That matters just as much as every round of ammunition and every tank or helicopter that's been provided. And lastly, we're now past the six-month mark of this conflict. We saw evidence of Russian forces quickly retreating when faced with this new counterattack. How much could fatigue and, and a lack of will by Russia's forces play into how the next phase of this war unfolds? Well, I think this has been, that's a very significant point. Um, this has been their Achilles heel all along. They basically culminated um, where their front lines are now, their inability to continue to supply themselves, but also poor morale and significant losses. Even the most conservative loss estimates are over 60,000 casualties and, you know, uh, over 2,000 tanks and so forth. So, um, that has certainly played a factor in uh, the outcome over the last few days. And, and so really, it's back to Russia now on what options they have. One option that President Putin has not taken is he has not gone to full mobilization uh, for the Russian military. So we'll just have to wait and see um, what the Russian president decides to do with regards to the very poor performance of his forces in Ukraine over the last couple of weeks. Retired General Robert Abrams, we thank you so much for your expertise. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.